Hi guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg with Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. In today's video, I'm sharing tips with you on how you can organize your jewelry. I'm sure you've all been there where you've got necklaces all over, bracelets, earrings, stuff is strewn about, or you feel like you've had it in the same sort of setup or design or same jewelry cabinets for years on end without really reorganizing, purging your pieces, and really getting it set up in a great way that you can wear your jewelry in new ways each and every day. So, what I decided to do was to get rid of the jewelry cabinet, which was not working well for me. And this is what you can do in your own home. If you have a dresser, space in your closet, um, or any type of credenza or cabinet, you can easily use these tips to do this. And there's other things that you can do if you don't have that type of space. But what I'm gonna show you today is how you can remodel or model stuff with that. So basically what I did is take one pull-out dresser drawer in my custom-built closet and I'm going to use that to house all of the jewelry that will fit in there. So basically, I took what's called Stackers, which is a brand that Container Store sells and you can find them online. They come in a variety of different sizes and shapes. And what my goal was is to have different drawers or different compartments that the different jewelry pieces can all sit in, that I would be able to see them all laid out evenly in one space and area. Okay, I am back from Container Store and I'm ready to start my jewelry organization. So I'm showing you some of the products that I have. This is by a brand called Stackers. The reason why I like this brand, it comes in blush and white and lots of different neutral tones, but you can stack the pieces or trays on top of each other. So it makes it very easy to kind of combine and stack. If you move somewhere, or you're traveling, you can take anything with you. So we've got some acrylic pieces. I like a very neutral vibe. Then, some for bracelets and watches, and then some trays. And I'm gonna see what I'm going to do with necklaces as well. But I'm looking for not this piece that I purchased, but another, if you have an idea, to store statement cocktail rings. So stay tuned and I will show you the space next and how I'm gonna organize everything. But then should I move or change out the closet or if you get rid of the dresser or drawer space, I would be able to reuse these pieces again because they all stack one on top of the other. So it makes it very easy that you could put them into a different area or place and also move the pieces about. So first you need to just Figure out what jewelry types do you have. If you have larger statement necklaces, statement earrings, large cuffs, those need to be displayed and set up a little bit differently than smaller, more delicate pieces. So I'm going to show you here my jewelry drawers and spaces. And basically what I did is I looked at all of the different earring types that I have and then figured out the spacing, how many pairs I have, what kind of area I need them in. And that all went into one of the stackers. Then I looked at my bracelets and I have lots of different from delicate pieces that I wear to statement cuffs. And I categorized all of those pieces together. 
and again put them into another stacker's container, as you can see. Then I moved on to doing watches, which I do wear. Um, and then also different, I've also got hair ties and hair accessories in there since I have long hair. Um, and then also rings. So basically I went through each different sort of type of jewelry once I had purged and kind of figured out what I needed to use. And then laid out how many pieces I have and went to the store or shopped online and was able to find what stackers containers worked really well um, for my, both my drawer space that I was going to use and for the jewelry pieces. So the other thing that I recommend doing is I like to keep necklaces not laying down because they're very hard to see. But what I ended up choosing to do was to put um, nails in my brick wall and in there that I'm hanging each individual long necklace separately so I can easily see them and I can grab them and put them on with any outfit. So it's great if you space out your necklaces and jewelry to give them room so that you can truly see them. Necklaces easily get tangled up, so spacing is a big consideration. So this is what I did for my larger statement necklaces or bigger long necklaces. And then for more delicate or layering necklaces, I have those on a necklace stand, as you can see here. And again, they're spaced out, but I can easily see them and grab them to wear and or layer in any outfit. But for statement earrings, which I do wear a lot of, I need to see them and wanted those on display, which makes me gravitate towards wearing them and that makes them easily available to put on with any outfit. So I purchased these um, two different stands that I have by Kendra Scott. And really it gives the great amount of space which I measured carefully to see how big are your statement earrings. You'll need to know that in order to space them out. But again, having those separate stands out allows my statement earrings truly to be shown and readily available. So we're going to show you a preview again of this jewelry display spacing. And then give us feedback in the comments below. How have you organized your jewelry? What do you feel was the best way? And how can you reorganize it again should you ever move? We'd love to hear your tips in the comments below and happy to answer any questions for a variety of different jewelry storage and products that we always recommend. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Divine Style YouTube channel to make sure you get all of our latest video segments in your feed.